hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this beautiful animation inside of after effects with the help of our favorite plugin trap code particular so if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started <laughs> So first of all, I am. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator. I have this illustration over here. I got this illustration from Freepik. Link of this file is available in the description, so you can do check it out now or later, and you can download it. After downloading this Illustrator file, you will get this file over here. Now we have to deal with this thing. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna select this RAM illustration. I'll right click and I'll choose ungroup so it's gonna ungroup the unwanted stuff then I'm going to select this illustration I'll press ctrl c on my keyboard to create a copy and then I'll go and I'll create a new document the uh, height weight of this document is 1920 by 180 and I'll press ctrl v to paste it and by holding shift I'm going to increase the size of this illustration somewhere around like this okay then i'm gonna create a new layer and i want a little bit of gap over here so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select my paint tool and i don't want any stroke so i delete this stroke from here and i'll choose white color and we will create something like this then alt and close this then we'll create this line and then this line okay let's zoom out a little bit now select this press a to select this anchor point i mean direct selection tool and let's select this anchor point and move this over here and with the help of this i'm gonna make it rounded corners like this also i'll select this and i'll make a little bit of rounded corners like this okay now we will select all of them or uh, instead of that let's select this white color and this thing and with the help of our not this but uh, shape builder tool i'm gonna select the shape to builder tool and by holding alt i'm gonna click on this so it will delete this portion like this press v again now select all of them by hitting ctrl a to select all of them and then press ctrl shift and f9 like this so you will get this uh, pathfinder option like this now uh, before that select this thing right click and choose ungroup and as you guys can see we want this thing to be on the separate layer so i'll select this or what we call a string and i'll hit ctrl x on the second layer i'll press ctrl shift v to paste in place like this and we will lock this layer for now now we will select this entire illustration and by holding this option called unit we will simply click on it now all of this thing is one entire object now if you see this this is a shape layer but we don't want shape layer we want stroke only so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna delete this fill and i'll choose stroke and for the stroke color i'm going to choose black color like this and increase the stroke width up to two pixels like this and also you can select this I mean this rope thing and you can increase the stroke width to 2 like this so our this thing is done now now we need to focus on another thing but before that we need what we need to do we want some fill also so I'll select this thing again I'll hit ctrl C to copy I'll create a new layer and I'll press ctrl shift V and I'll bring this downwards let's select this layer and let's call it as stroke and hit ok we will call this layer as string and now i'm gonna select this i'm gonna click this entire thing and for this one i don't want stroke i want only color and i'll choose this color and i'll call this layer as fill so now we have one fill layer one stroke layer and one this string layer okay so save this file like this now we will go to the adobe after effects and we will create a new composition and i'll call it as main animation like this and simply hit ok choose grid and guide option and hit on title section then i'll bring my galaxy image over here 
uh, the link of this image is also provided in the description so after importing this press s and let's decrease the size of it somewhere around like this i think this looks good and let's lock this layer then i'll press ctrl i and i'm gonna import my illustrator file i'll choose composition rate and layers and sizes and simply hit up import and we will select this and we will bring this over here like this okay so as you guys can see we have this illustration over here now double click to open this as you guys know we have one have one fill and one stroke now press ctrl k to open the project settings and we will make this background white and simply hit ok and hit ok and we will hide this fill for now and now we will select both the stroke and the string right click create shape from text and we will bring the stroke layers at the top and now we will select this stroke and we will go to the add menu and we will choose trim path let's go to the trim path and initially let's make it zero create one keyframe let's zoom in a little bit and let's go to around i think five seconds maybe and let's make this complete 100 like this so if i see i'll get this kind of animation now if you want you can select those keyframes and hit f9 like this and let's move this thing to around six seconds like this so we will get this animation also we will select the string path we will hit ctrl c we will select the string and we will hit ctrl v if you hit u you will get something like this okay now we'll go to our main animation i'll press f4 i'll click on this icon and then i'll convert this layers into 3d double click to open this select the strings press f4 and convert them into 3d like this okay let's select both the layers and hit ctrl d bring them at the top zoom in a little bit and go to around 20 frames and move them over here again hit ctrl d bring them at the top go to 10 seconds and bring them over here go to 2 seconds hit ctrl d bring them at the top and let's move them over here now select our first this stroke layers and we'll go to the stroke and now over here i'm gonna choose some one thing color like this select this layer go to the stroke color i'm going to choose yellow color over here and hit ok then i'll go over here I'm gonna select purple layer color over here and for the last one I'm going to choose white color and hit ok if I see this thing in my main animation comp I'll get something like this okay so actually uh, the one mistake I did over here I have chosen a little bit big timeline but that's okay let's zoom in a little bit now press ctrl y to create a solid background layer and i'll call it as particular and hit ok select this particular if uh, go to the effect and presets panel and search for particular effect and simply double click to apply so as you guys know if you are using this particular plugin uh it creates some points like this uh, now let's hide this un untitled one which is our illustration layer now let's go to the emitter options uh, emitter behavior i'm gonna choose continuous particle per second we will increase this zero two times so it will create more particles and velocity let's choose zero maybe and velocity random also zero like this and emitter type instead of point i'm going to choose layer like this and layer emitter we are in as you guys can see in there it's none we will choose this untitled one so now what's gonna happen this thing is gonna cre cre create particles from this layer if i hide this thing as you guys can see they are creating par emitting particles from here if i increase one zero over here if you can see you will get this particle emissions like that let's choose quarter resolution so we can see a little bit faster if i hit play it's gonna act like this 
okay now instead of uniform let's make this directional and now uh, as you guys can see we will get this kind of structure so now we need to do is let's make the emitter side set zero because we don't want that so now as you can see we are getting a proper shape if you see in full resolution it's take a little bit time but we'll get this kind of structure but this is not just it we want something more uh, so let's enable disable this emitter and now we will focus on our particles now particle life second let's choose four i don't want any feathers so i'll make it zero and particle size let's make it four okay now this options is also cool now we need to focus on our physics so let's go to the gravity and let's make this 100 so now they are gonna fall over here and let's make the quarter resolution and let's see we will get this kind of thing now let's go to the emitter and directional speed let's make this zero let's see again we will get something like this and let's make this o velocity from motion also zero and now we will get something like this now let's go to over here initially instead of this let's choose purple color only again and let's see our results yep i'm gonna get something like this so let's make this full resolution again and let's see what we will get something like this and now let's go to the particle again and in size over life in presets i'm going to choose this preset so the size is gonna decrease like this and if you make this uniform let's see what will happen let's check it out okay so we are getting something like this okay so now let's make increase this size again let's increase one zero again as you guys can see we'll get this error so let's hit play now we will get some more particles with the light let's decrease this one zero and instead of one i'm gonna type five over here like this so now we have something like this okay so let's make this full resolution again and now if you go inside this untitled one if you guys know that i have created one fill over here so i'll hit ctrl c to copy that fill let's add this go to main animation and i'll hit ctrl v over here as you guys can see it's gonna create something like this over here and go to the effect and presets panel and search for blur effect and apply gaussian blur effect on it and blurriness let's make 10 pixels so we will get a little bit of blur in it not too much so let's make it fine okay now we will select this particle uh, effect and let's go to the particle sections and let's try to increase the size randomness to 50 and let's see we will get something like this and if you decrease it up to three pixels as you guys can see we will get something like this so let's make it four only okay uh, and now we will select this particular effect and we will hit ctrl d to create another layer of particular and we'll bring this layer at the top and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go inside this emitter and i'm gonna remove one zero from here like this and particles then i'll go to the particles maybe and i'm gonna reduce the size of it so let's say three or let's say two so it's gonna emit a little bit of particles over here now select this untitled one right click reveal reveal layers in source project and hit ctrl d to duplicate it we will select this untitled one we will hit ctrl d again and by holding alt i'll replace it with this now enable this 
layer and double click to open this comp as you guys can see we have same particles over here now instead of all of this uh, i'm going to choose a similar kind of color to let's say something around like this for entire stuff okay we will select this press t for opacity and let's make it 40 only oops sorry uh, not this but this and let's make it 40 only and now we will enable our background and we will select this and we will hit ctrl d and we will bring this over here select this uh, galaxy image press f4 and choose alpha map so now we will get something like this let's make this full and now if i see this from here i'll get something like this now let's select this pixels image we'll go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for brightness and we will apply this and we will decrease the brightness of this one a little bit because we need to see this we will select this brightness hit ctrl c select this and hit ctrl v so now we can see this thing properly like this okay so go to the emitter yeah so let's see this animation from the star so i'm gonna get something like this it's take quite a little bit of time to run this animation but the final output is gonna look awesome like this okay so let's see. go to the full resolution again and hit you select this particular layer and go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect and double click to apply and increase the glow and glow threshold also let's make it 80 like this so we'll get this kind of animation now select this pixels and like make it apparent with this last layer go initially press s and let's increase the size of it to 40 let's create one keyframe go to 10 second and let's make it 34 so we'll along with this particle uh, emission animation we will get that a little bit of scaling animation also for this let's make this full resolution again so we'll get something like this now let's go inside this untitled one i'm gonna select this string now initial color of this thing is purple so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select this layer hit ctrl d let's bring this over here and let's move this over here and the initial thing the initial color of this one should be a little bit lighter so i'll choose this color over here and if i hit play first color i'll get is yellow color then purple color and instead of that yellow color let's choose orange color like this okay so if we run this animation to the entire frame let's see we will get something like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned